Clothing furniture can be expensive, and they don't always turn out exactly as you planned. There often has to be some compromise. Sometimes it's best to design a DIY furnishing that would fit your bedroom to a T without the hefty price tag. Check out these DIY ideas from SimpHome.com. One or more of them could be the solution you've been looking for. 12. DIY Dress-Up Box You assemble this tiny DIY dress-up box using biscuit joiners or with one and a half inch wood screws and glue. First, round out the top corners of two 5 by one by one sidings. Cut four 4 foot by one foot by one inch boards. One is for the top shelf that you attach one foot from the top of the five foot sidings. The other three are for the front, back, and floor of the bottom storage. Next, attach a four foot hanger dowel about one and one quarter inch thick just below the top shelf. Add a three inch by one inch trim at the front to cover it and another above for the backing. Apply fresh coats of any color paint that you want. 11. A simple DIY felt box idea. Turn a small heavy-duty cardboard box into a more expensive-looking storage bin. The first thing to do is to remove all the top flaps and tape all the bottom seams. Using a paper template, cut out two 5-inch by 3-inch handled wooden grooves in the upper middle edges on the box's front and back sides. They should have rounded bottom corners. Next, glue a paint stirrer flush with the top edge behind each cut. Cut a piece of felt cloth to the front size, but add an overlap that you can fold over the top and about an inch lower than the cutout inside. With the fabric folded, mark and cut out the hole for the grooves. Using chalk, mark out on the felt the weave area below the handle. Cut all the vertical slits two inches apart with a box knife. Cut enough two-inch felt strips and begin to weave them horizontally in and out of the vertical slits. Next, cut all the excess strips and use hot glue to paste the fabric on the box. Repeat the process for the back side and minus the handle and the other two sides. Finally, line the remaining exposed surfaces inside with felt. 10. A DIY Rolling Garment Rack A rolling rack is an excellent solution for storing your wardrobe and shoes. You need to cut two 6 foot by 1 foot by 1 inch boards for the shelves. All the black pipes used are 1 quarter inch and threaded on both sides. The hanger frame is three 5 foot pipes joined together with two elbow joints. Attach them near the ends of the top shelf with flanges and screws. You'll need four one-foot pipes with flanges on both ends, forming a dumbbell. Screw them near the corners of the bottom and top shelves. Finally, attach four casters under the bottom shelf. 9. DIY Planter Closet It's a playful take on an open closet and given some minor red treatment to pop out. All the boards you'll be using are 16 inches by 1 inch. The sidings are 5 feet, while the bottom, middle, and top shelves are 2 feet by 4 inches. They're joined together with 1 and 1 half inch wood screws and glue. You raise the bottom shelf 4 inches from the floor while the middle one is 1 foot above it. Then cut a 6 inch diameter hole on the top shelf's right to hold a red clay plant pot. Cut a three foot by one by one quarter inch dowel and slide it through the holes drilled in the middle and five inches below the siding's top. Finally, line the middle shelf surface with red linoleum. Eight, craft this DIY garage sale clothes rack for your bedroom. This garage sale type rack is inexpensive and super easy to DIY. It would be a pleasant addition to your bedroom. You can also cut the rod to any length that suits you. Except for the one and one quarter inch dowel, all the wood used is two inches by four inches. First, cut two four foot boards for the post. Then use a one and one quarter hole saw and drill through one and one half inches from the top of each post. You'll need to cut eight pieces of 10 inch boards for the feet. Drive nails or screws on one end of a foot to the bottom of the post. Do the same with the other feet. 7. DIY Zigzag Coat Rack Idea This zigzag coat rack would add a little more pizzazz to a wall than a plain one. It's a pretty straightforward DIY build. 
Saw as many six inch segments of three quarter inch square dowels as you want, but don't overdo it. Saw two end segments 45 degrees on one end using a miter box. For the rest, give both ends a 45 degree miter in the same direction. You'll need a 90 degree clamp and glue to create the zigzag pattern. Finally, drill one half inch holes on the bottom joints and glue in matching round dowels three inch long. 6. A DIY copper pipe ladder idea. It's not strong enough to be used as a proper ladder, but this one made of copper pipes would be terrific for hanging your towels. You'll need two 10 foot long, one half inch copper pipes, 10 matching T-joints, four pipe end caps, and adhesive. Cut five one foot rungs. For the middle segments, use eight pieces 10 inches long. Also cut four 14 inch pipes for the latter ends or legs. Assemble all the parts using the T-joints applied with adhesive. Be sure to cap the four open pipe ends. 5. A modern DIY blanket ladder idea. It's very similar to the copper ladder, but instead of copper pipes, you'll use 3 quarter inch wooden dowels for this blanket ladder rack. Join all the dowel segments with copper pressure T-joints. Cut four rungs measuring 20 inches. Eight 18 inch pipes will space the rungs evenly. Then cut two one foot pieces for the legs and two eight inches for the top segments. Paint all the dowels white for a lovely contrast with the copper. Four, how to build easy and inexpensive DIY closet shelves. DIY shelves are an easy and cheap solution, especially in a shared closet. You can even use some painter's tape on the back wall to design different layouts until you get the right one. For this configuration, you'll build an open box shelf. Each of the bottom two shelves have four compartments that would snugly fit eight attractive square boxes. The upper shelf has four rectangular spaces for smaller bins. The top can also store other items. Finally, you install the rod above it to hang other clothing. 3. Room Divider Closet Idea A terrific solution for a walk-in closet is to build the furniture as a room divider. It's ideal to position the floor-to-ceiling closet in the middle. That way, there will be entryways on both sides. The back facing the bedroom would serve as a new wall. The front inside the new room will have two side towers with open shelves made of three-quarter inch plywood. You then install a hanger rod between them. Use 2 inch by 4 inch boards between the two towers to mount the 1 quarter inch plywood backing. Next, attach 1 inch by 3 inch boards for the decorative frames at the back. 2. Easy Drop Cloth Storage Boxes Cut a larger piece of painter's drop cloth canvas that's 2 inches wider and longer than the front, bottom, and back sides of a heavy duty cardboard box. Glue spray the wrong side of this piece to the box, making sure there's a one inch extension around every edge. Cut notches at every corner so you can glue the extra fabric to the sides and cover the top edges. Next, cut two smaller canvas pieces with a one inch extension around the box's sides. Use a hot iron to fold the two vertical edges one half inch inward. Glue spray these pieces to the sides, then fold the glue and flaps over the bottom and the top. Tie a knot on one end of a half inch thick rope 10 inches long and string the other taped end from the inside through two holes. Remove the tape and tie another knot to secure the handle. Do the same for the opposite side. Before I finish this countdown, support the channel by pressing subscribe button under the video. Keep us in your subscription tabs for more home and garden improvement ideas like this. And finally, let's close out our countdown with, lastly, number one, an alternative DIY closet idea. If you need more closet space and are going for a vintage look, one of the best idea sources is a flea market. Take this unassuming open corner closet, for instance. You can use an old door as a divider by bracing it with strips of wood and dowels. One can be a rod to hang your clothes above a leaning mirror. It's a suitable place to store your shoes and hats. Add a top shelf for other items. You can even keep the door handle to hang a few bags. Conclusion People seldom run out of ideas for organizing their clothes in the bedroom. However, when it involves DIY clothing furniture, it can be a bit tricky sometimes. 
The ideas I presented here are pretty straightforward to follow, but they'll give you a taste of what's possible. Best of all, they don't cost an arm and a leg. Be sure to drop by SimpHome.com to read the whole article and discover more useful tips for your home. That's it for now. Since you're still watching this video, press that like button, comment on it, or share it with anyone close to you in your favorite social media channel. Browse and follow Simp Home website for more amazing content related to home and decor ideas. And until we meet again later sometime in the future, thanks for watching.